Another kingdom approach to relationship is understanding your expectations. Do you have expectations? Or are you the kind of person that permits any and everything that a relationship has to offer? It is very godly to have expectations and most importantly, to have a proper understanding of your expectations. Amen. Our Heavenly Father has expectations when it comes to his relationship with us. Did you know that? When we read Psalm 14 verse 2 from the New International Version, we are told this. The Lord looks down from heaven on all mankind to see if there are any who understand, any who seek God. Amen. I'll read this for you again. The Lord looks down from heaven on all mankind to see if there are any who understand, any who seek God. Amen. This portion of scripture expresses to us the expectation of the Father. We are told that he looks down from heaven to see if there is anyone who understands and anyone who seeks him. Why will he do that? He will do that because he has made his purpose, his standard, his identity and more very clear to us. Therefore, there is an expectation of compliance. Amen. It would be unfair for him to look down from heaven with such expectations if he had not provided a curriculum for us to adhere to. So too it is with us, we ought to have expectations, clearly communicate our expectations, and live in expectation. Amen. I'll give you an example to help you understand this truth even better. If you expect absolute honesty in your relationships, First, you should be able to communicate that. Give no room for assumptions. Amen. Secondly, you will relate with that person expecting that everything they say or do is true. You will not have a reason to verify every information or action of theirs before implementing because you expect that they are dealing with you from a platform of honesty. Amen. You know, all this might seem easy, yet you'll be amazed at how many people live on assumptions and never successfully build lasting kingdom relationships. I'll say this again. You do not have to be a victim of failed relationships. There is a way that you can see and learn, not necessarily experience the situation before learning. In Proverbs 24, 32, we are told this. I applied my heart to what I observed and learned a lesson from what I saw. This is a great scripture re-echoing this truth that we do not have to learn from experience. We can learn from seeing things through the word of God and through the lifestyle of great examples. Amen. Amen. 